Their cutting edge products, products and brilliant marketing helped Steve Jobs turn Apple into the world's most valuable tech company. But they're not the only factors. No other company in Silicon Valley has the aura and the cult following that Apple has. Why is that? Well, let's speak to Mark Artis. He's chief executive of global brand agency 1HQ. Great to have you with us, Mark. Thank you. First of all, we're not overdoing it here, are we? This was in a hugely influential man. Yeah, I think, you know, I st behind every, every great brand, there's usually a great person. Uh, you know, and I think Steve Jobs is one of those people. And I think, you know, you look at all big brands when a, when a big CEO leaves, whether it's Jack Welsh or whether it's with, with Microsoft, I think it's um, S Steve Jobs leaving Apple is, is going to be huge. Um, he, he lived that brand and we lived it with him. And more than being the head of, uh, of a company, he was an inventor. I mean, these were his creations. Yeah, he was an inventor, but he did more than that. I think Apple became, has become one of those more absorptive brands. You know, we've absorbed it into our lives. People live the life of Apple. You know, people want to be associated with it. They want to go into his stores and they think they are, they're part of the Apple empire. And I think it's, it's going to be massive. But, you know, with big corporations, that they, they succession planning is a, is, a, is a challenge for everybody, and I think they're going to have a big, a big challenge on their hands. How big? I mean, at what point do we look at Apple and say, okay, this is really Apple without the guidance of Steve Jobs, and can they do it? Can they continue to be such great innovators without well, him? Yeah, I, 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 I'm sure they can, but what he, bring, what he brought to, to Apple... I mean, it's got a, he's got a magic to it. There's an aura around Steve Jobs, as there, there is an aura around great CEOs or great people that, that lead brands. And I think um, Apple, he was so much a part of it that it'll be, it'll be a challenge for him. And this great aura was no accident. I mean, this was a man who was a total perfectionist. Every yeah. single appearance was meticulously planned. He would rehearse and rehearse those product launches, those let's talk events. Yeah. Uh, he really controlled his image. Yeah, we get, Apple, uh, I talked about absorptive brands. I mean, it's one of those brands, it's very similar to Harley Davidson. I mean, Harley Davidson, people love Harley Davidson. They tattoo Harley Davidson on their arms yeah. because it's, they want to be part of that lifestyle. I think it's the same thing with Apple. And, and, and I think it, it's, it, it will be, it's a mega thing. It's, it's, it's it, when, you, when you buy an Apple product these days, I just, I just picked up an iPad myself, you get little Apple stickers yep. that I've noticed have started popping up on people's desks and on their cars and yep. in other places. People do really want to associate themselves with the brand. But interesting also, uh, reading today about him and about his life, these products really were a mirror image of him because he was kind of this, this techie geek. I mean, anybody that, that uses a lot of technology, you, you, we, we call them tech geeks nowadays. It's becoming, it's becoming more and more common. But he was a nerd, but he was also this design genius. I mean, he, he really wanted to marry up that artistry with technology. And what came out was a really cool, sexy product. Yeah. I mean, he wasn't just a nerd. No, I mean, and that's where I think the magic is. I think, you know, there is some people have that certain cognitive dissonance where they're capable of looking at the creative side of things and at the academic complexities of stuff. And he seemed to be a man that seemed to be able to marry the brilliance of the technology with the beauty of the actual package you wrapped it up in. And, and that's a rare gift. And I think that's why people associate themselves so much with the Apple products. Because when you look at it, they're sexy. People love it. They love the way they are. And as a result of that, people want to be a part of it. So I think um, it'll be interesting to see how Apple can continue to grow without such a powerful mind behind it. All right, Mark Artis, thank you very much for being with us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you All very right. much. All right. We are taking you through the other stories of the day.